Hi everybody and welcome to Traveling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow Crocker City Convention Center. Now we're going to go and check out a fishing and hunting expo. So I thought I'd uh, bring you along and we can check it out together. Now just walking on inside it's kind of interesting how many people are here. I haven't actually been in the main convention hall yet. I just grabbed my ticket right now. There was a very nice guy right here at this counter. There's people queuing for tickets to a fishing convention. How would you be? And now there's a kind of a bit of a secret. If you, the actual, the, the, this event is actually a ticketed event. So if you buy the ticket online, it's a little bit cheaper than buying it at the door here. And then as I was coming down these escalators right here, you can see this is kind of the main entrance up the top here. There was a lady trying to sell me discounted tickets. There's people scalping tickets to a fishing convention. Come on, here it is, right here. Oh, it's just changed the sign on me, but it's very nice. I've actually already dropped my jacket off. These conventions are very nice. They've got the uh, coat checks over here on this left-hand side. Uh, there's a bit of a line forming. This is uh, still early morning, so lots of people just arriving for the first time. You drop your coat off, then you can walk around Nicely. It's very cold outside at the moment, so it's uh, kind of appropriate to leave your jacket. Lots of people already coming out of the convention. So, yeah, let's check it out right here. Now, I've literally just walked in for the first time through the turnstiles. And look at the crowds here. Have a look at how many people have come to a fishing convention. Holy smoke, there is, I wouldn't even say hundreds, there's thousands of people here. I wonder what's going on, is there a, like a favorite fishing lure or fishing rod here at this first stand? I'm not sure, but have a look at the crowds. This is crazy, at a fishing convention in Moscow. All right, so as I'm gonna walk around this convention, I just wanna warn people that there is a lot of guns on show here. This is a fishing and hunting expo. So please be aware there's a lot of guns here. There's also a lot of fishing rods as well. And there's a lot of hunting and fishing enthusiasts. Uh, so if you see guns, and obviously I'm in Russia right now, there's a few things going on. It's not for that reason I've come to show this convention, but you will see them in quite a lot of the shots as I walk around. Now, just walking around as well, I just want to point out that obviously this is a fishing and hunting expo. So I would reckon 99% of people here will be men and there'll be a few ladies kind of getting dragged along by their husbands and boyfriends and lovers to this on a, a Saturday afternoon. So a lot of people uh, always question when I do videos at shopping centers and supermarkets, where are all the men? It's only women shopping but we brought you to a fishing exhibition and convention. And I think on this video, you're gonna see uh, pretty much almost every man in Moscow has decided to come out to this event today. So walking around, it's very interesting, some of these different booths. This guy right here has got uh, scopes and night vision goggles. Uh, it's uh, kind of a very eclectic mix of different uh, things available here. Yeah, there's a guy with uh, boots and I imagine kind of uh, hiking boots of some kind, probably waterproof ones. It's a pretty neat collection of them. Saikus shoes. Uh, I really don't know probably 99% of the brands coming here. So we, my hand is uh, getting shaky holding the camera. I've only just got here and then all the different shabkas, hat, uh, shabkas here, or hats. So there's gonna be some of the stands where they're selling things. So a lot of the brands that are basically demonstrating their products. Always knives are a popular thing in Russia here. These different types of hunting and fishing knives and filleting knives. Uh, these handles are all handmade. Wow, check out some of these things. These are serious, uh, I don't know, like meat cleavers. What would you call them? Fishing cleavers? I'm not sure. And there's another guy. This must be the knife section over here. There seems to be a whole alleyway of them. Have a look at how many people are back there. 
This is kind of interesting. They also have just the blades as they come. So you can make your own handle, I guess. There's a whole lot of different knife handles, or blades. And then there's some already that are made here. These are very cool. I guess they're to a point they're ornamental. I mean, I'm sure you'd use them practically, but that's pretty cool. I didn't even know you could buy just the blades as they come. I really do hope people find this interesting, this video. I mean, I've done a few other convention videos. I really love coming to these things. They're so interesting and the kind of the variety of different products that you can find when you come to them. There's a lady here with the secateurs and uh, saws if you want to do some gardening at your dacha. Just walking around these few booths, I never realized that <laughs> knife uh, collecting or knife buying was such a popular thing. I guess I'm at a convention that's dedicated to hunting and fishing, so I should expect it, but there is kind of booths on either side of this whole walkway here. I mean, and they're not simple knives either. These are kind of crafted knives. They're handmade. There's all sorts of different woods that they've used in the crafting of them. It's very, very interesting. Didn't take me very long to find the different foods on offer here at the convention. Here is all the different types of honeys. This lady's got honey from different regions of Russia. All these different flavored ones. Very nice. And there's one here with different cured meats and hams. Now, I don't want to confuse which ones are which. There'll be different bear meats here. There'll be maybe some horse meats. There'll be some boar, uh, there's obviously beef, pig, uh, deer, reindeer, and here's some uh, smoked fish, and salmon, and caviar. Oh, have a look. Again, another very popular part of the convention walking around. And these guys uh, talking about the different ones. There's also mushrooms, different types of dried fruits as well. It's very interesting. I guess the fish and the uh, wild kind of uh, animal meats. Here's some of the other cured meats here as well. You can see the different colors of them as well. It's not your typical kind of uh, salamis and uh, different uh, cabanossis that you'd be kind of uh, used to. And again, here's some more cured fish. Now these will be very much things you can't buy even here in Moscow. So a lot of these different vendors that come to these events are from other regions of Russia, uh, maybe outside of Moscow region. Oh, they're tying different cheeses here as well. It's a little bit hard to kind of get in. Every time I want to go check out something, there's a crowd gathering around. Here's more honeys. And they basically all by weight. So you buy them by uh, 100 gram weights. Here are different uh, dried fruits. Uh, a lot of them are covered in uh, chocolates, uh, almonds, different nuts. It's very interesting. I did come to see fishing and I'm getting caught up in food. Seems to be my thing, uh, always. And these different cheeses here as well. And more uh, different types of cured meats. And salo, which is kind of like uh, the fat of the animal. I think that's the best way to describe it. All these nice meats. Right, this is what we came for, not the food. We came for the fishing and the hunting. And have a look at this quad bike here. This thing is insane. Look at the size of it. These two guys up here look like little ants on top of it. Wow, this thing is just a monster. There's a couple more of them right here as well. The kids obviously love to kind of climb up on them and you know, check them out. But these things are serious pieces of machinery. Let me tell you these. This is like a, like a Hummer. It's the size of a Hummer. This is not your average kind of uh, <laughs> all-wheel drive bike. These, uh, I don't know what you'd even call them. They're so huge. 
So we go from these big giant one <laughs> right in front of me here to the more normal size. Uh, I guess these are skidoos or skidonts. Skidoos, I think that's the name of them. This is a more uh, normal size quad bike here. It's got LED lights all over the place. This is a very nice machine right here. Now I don't in any way condone gun violence and shooting and using weapons, but here at a uh, hunting convention and fishing convention, have a look at this, the ladies are getting involved. Can she hit the target? She's under a bit of pressure now, but <laughs> there's like a little, uh, like a shooting range inside the convention center here. Oh, she got it, top right. What a shot. She's an expert marksman. Maybe she's uh, secretly yes. a, uh, yeah? <laughs> wow, one more try. His father, uh, teach her how to shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. And the kids here are having a go. There's a... This is from childhood. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is very interesting. A Russian woman. Yeah, I can see. You'll see it. Uh-huh. And they, uh... So basically these are air rifles or what we call BB guns. But uh, they're, uh, they're obviously supervised here. They, uh, the kids and the ladies obviously know what they're doing. But this is very uh, cool to see. Also at the back of the event here, they've even got axe throwing. And not only axes, this guy has like, uh, like shovels as well. Check those things out. Axes, shovels, and there's even knife throwing. And there's a lady right here doing uh, knife throwing. I guess they're doing like a training. Oh, <laughs> but these guys uh, show you what to do and how to do it. And there's a, this is all free by the way. You can just basically just line up. And there's a bit of a line of people over this side over here. And then you get like a little short, uh, like 10 or 15 minute lesson by these, I guess you would call them experts. I'm not sure, uh, but check that out. The ax throwing. There we go, this guy's right in the axis. Konstantin Malziev. So I guess he's pretty well known in the axe throwing world. And they even have master classes here as well and how to prepare the food and the types of knives to use. This is pretty cool. There's not as many people watching, but I think depending on who the different chef is, they show you about the different preparation of the wild Game, is that what you call it, game? There's also different boats on display as well, and inflatables. And I imagine you can come here and get a convention special and check them out. There's, uh, I wonder if these are actually Russian made. I imagine they probably are looking at them. There's a few different ones on display. These are, I would have, you're using these for uh, river fishing. Obviously, we're very landlocked here in Moscow, so if you want to go down one of the rivers or lakes or ponds, I guess you'd come and find one of these. So this is kind of cool. There's a guy here uh, telling you about the different types of fishing lures. And then there's actually a makeshift tank set up with some uh, sticks over there. I imagine it's teaching about casting and how to avoid the the trees in the water and then he's showing you the different types of lures and jigs that they're using and kind of a little bit of a master class in fishing in this tank and then right behind it is the little fishing tackle shop so as soon as you kind of found the one that you like and the style and he's going to tell you how uh, how well they work you can jump in the back there and buy some now I want to give a big shout out to my friend Ben from New Zealand. He's obviously uh, not in Moscow with me right now. He's back in New Zealand for a little while. And while we were here, we actually went to a, a big fishing shop in Moscow. He wanted to bring some lures back to New Zealand. And if you were here today, Ben, you would be in fishing heaven. There is shops and little booths everywhere. Uh, all the different things that you'd want for fishing here in Russia. Yeah, it is a bit of a mix of uh, shops and booths and then different master classes and exhib exhibits of the brands. Here the guy just has the different weights and there's a couple of different guys willing to kind of 
explain about the different things they have for sale. Fishing rods right here. Now, based on the fact that we're in Moscow and Moscow region, I would imagine a lot of people are doing river fishing in different type, different, different uh, types of fishing. In Australia, obviously, we do a lot more offshore fishing and uh, ocean fishing. Here you can buy uh, camp ovens. So each of these different booths all the way through the whole display here have different uh, things on offer. And uh, different fishing rods and reels. The amount of different uh, fishing tackle shops is really quite uh, interesting here because when we were looking for uh, shops when our Ben was here in Moscow, we uh, really struggled to find sort of a shop that had a full selection of things and coming here to this convention this is kind of like all of russia's fishing shops in one place and it's just interesting you know the different types of lures and different contraptions for fishing i uh i just really thought you put a hook on some line throw it in the water and hope for the best but there's obviously a real art to this especially the river fishing and uh, fly fishing and different things. Have a look at all these different choices here. It's uh, very, very interesting. I do hope you're finding this interesting walking around this uh, fishing and hunting convention. Uh, I find it really cool. I mean, I think all guys like any kind of stuff like this, you know, it's uh, very different to a lot of the conventions I've been to here in Moscow. And there's a lot of interesting things, especially different techniques that they use for fishing compared to what I'd be used to in Australia. So it's, it's interesting to see these different types of lures, the different types of, uh, even the, even different, the different rod and reel setups is very different here as well. Yeah, this whole other side of the convention hall is all dedicated to fishing, mostly fishing hooks and different uh, jigs, lures, it's really uh, interesting, interesting how many different possible types there are. I don't know, are they set out by brand? Different types of fish. Look, here is even Nemo right here. If you want to use Nemo to catch another Nemo, you can. But uh, it's this whole far side here. I wonder if people kind of wait for this once per year to come and get all their fishing gear because of the fact that they're very difficult to find these fishing shops around around Moscow especially you know they're uh, you think they're they're kind of convenient to find even when you google them but when you get there they're not really uh, you know that well kitted out but to find them all in one place is very cool now this middle section I hope this comes out on the video because there's a couple of different guys here who are uh, demonstrating the different, are they duck callers or, uh, I don't know, uh, game hunters? What are they called, these things? But uh, you can hear them across the whole exhibition when you're walking around. And it's quite distinct to hear the, these uh, duck call kind of implements. And there's obviously a lot of interest around them the different brands. I think it's obviously something you just can't buy online, right? I mean, how can you get an idea of it? But uh, when you come to these conventions, obviously you can touch them, play with them, try them out. Uh, it's a very, a very, very fun. Uh, these guys here uh, seem to be the experts in the <laughs> field of, of uh, bird calling. And then I wonder after you've caught something, <laughs> This is taxidermy, right? This is what they call it. This uh, art of uh, the different uh, stuffed animals. This is very nice. I mean, these are pretty amazing uh, different animals here. The poor squirrel. You see these all over the parks in Moscow, but I imagine people like these as a collection for their house. And here's some more of them. These are big animals too. I'm not sure my wife would really appreciate one of these in our lounge room, but I guess uh, some people like them, right? I mean, it's not really something that I'm into, but it uh, obviously proves to be very popular here at this kind of convention. 
Now I've come for another look around the different uh, food stalls here because obviously being a hunting convention, a lot of the different uh, foods and meats are from different animals. So you can hear, see here from boar, and then from, I think these are turkeys or pheasants. And then we'll see here different types of uh, deer, uh, rabbit, duck. And it's just very interesting how many different types of meats there are, or uh, I guess wild meats, a wild game. And this is maybe a different type of, uh, like a moose, I think. But it's very uh, interesting to see this. And here's different types of honeys as well. These are uh, from, definitely not from Moscow, they're from the regions of Russia. A lot of this comes from uh, Ufa, which is where my wife is from. So this is very interesting, the Bashkia uh, honeys and all the different types and flavors that you can get. And they are more than happy to give you uh, taste tests as well, so it's very nice. And here's another one with the different uh, cheeses and meats and these kind of uh, fat or salo. Uh, you slice it off, you eat with a piece of bread or nice to have with beer when you want to have this kind of thing and you'll see all the different types of cured meats here very very popular stands all the different types of dried mushrooms as well this is really uh, different pickled mushrooms we'll look at some of these back here definitely not the stuff you buy at the average supermarket in moscow that's for sure it's very unique uh, things here from much further afield than Moscow. All these different pickled uh, mushrooms and then the dried fruits. All these different types of uh, different variations of dried uh, fruits. So there's the ones, uh, different raspberries, blueberries, gooseberries, all sorts of different things that you can get. I do hope this is interesting. Uh, I know it won't get many views compared to a lot of the other videos that I make on the channel, but uh, I really like coming to these. I like showing them to you. I like to show you the kind of diversity of the different conventions they have here in Moscow. Uh, especially the fact that a lot of these different booths and shops and stalls and food outlets are not from Moscow. They're coming from all over Russia, specifically to Moscow here to host uh, their kind of stands at these conventions so that when you uh, live in this area, you can get that kind of more, uh, uh, I don't know, native experience, especially buying all the different foods from uh, the far off regions of Russia. Now, after walking around a fair bit of this exhibition, there is a few different gun uh, companies, I think is the right word to say. These are all actually air rifles and uh, pellet guns. They don't shoot actual bullets, if you want to call it that. And a lot of people will use these either for uh, uh, target shooting or target practice, I think is the right word to say. Or uh, if they want to do uh, like biathlon skiing as well. There's, okay, these particular ones we're looking at right here are not set up for that, but there is a kind of an emphasis on some of the stands here. This uh, is kind of an outdoor store at the same time. So they've got all sorts of clothing and knives and things like that. And then over here they have the different scopes for the guns. They've actually kind of got these kind of wooden handles and then the scopes that are actually on them as well. There's uh, plenty that you can actually use and hold and try. It's uh, very interesting, this uh, sort of section over here, because it's uh, obviously this is an outdoor uh, convention. It's uh, hunting, camping, fishing. This uh, one over here actually has the, I think these are the silences or the, I'm not too sure what they call these. All right, so after talking to the guys here for a few minutes, I understand a little bit better. These are basically uh, silences or as they call them, suppressors that go on the end of the air rifles uh, I, I, I don't know I mean I think people shooting want the noise but I don't know do you want a silencer on the end of your weapon 
Um, I think I, I, I wouldn't have seen this anywhere else in the world uh, having come to this convention, so I uh, thought I'd point this out. I guess these are the different types of uh, weapons that they kind of go on, and then they just sort of screw on the end, basically. And then here is a little bit more uh, things related to guns. Again, I, I don't condone violence. I, weapons and bullets and guns are not anything that I'm really into, but they have the different uh, cartridges that you can get here. The Balever Shop and Bullet Box. So I guess if you Google Bullet Shop, these guys would come up. This is kind of interesting. This guy right here is doing knife sharpening. Check this out. Now this is a real skill to do knife sharpening and to know the techniques. And this company right here actually sells the implements for knife sharpening. You can see all the people very interested in these. And then check these out over here. These are kind of the, the different tabletop versions of knife sharpening machines. Is that what they would call them? Machines? And then they've got all the different accessories and the lower cupboards down here, but how cool is this? A knife sharpening ex exhibit. And then further around the exhibition, they've got these very big displays here for the different brands of fishing lures. These are probably the kind of company stores or the, um, I'm not sure, the, they have a lot of uh, gear here. They are selling things, but I think mostly it's a lot of just uh, brand awareness and getting people to kind of know the brands. Nautilus. Now again, I'm not into fishing really, but um, I think it's just interesting to come to this kind of place, check out the uh, different things on show and on offer. This is really the uh, fishing rod and real part of the exhibition over here. So I think if you're into your fishing, a lot of these names and brands would make sense. But if you're like me walking in here for the first time, you probably don't recognize any of these names. But all I know for me is Shimano. That's the only brand that I know. Uh, I think it's a Daewoo or Daewoo, Daewoo. I think it's the other one, and that's pretty much it. But everybody kind of getting some hints and tips about fishing and different, uh, we all kind of aspire to catch that big fish, I think, if you're a fisherman, right? Now, as I slowly head on out of the convention, I want to thank everybody for watching today. Uh, I know this may be not for everybody. I'm not going to get millions of views on this uh, video, but I hope from, uh, the way I've sort of put it across and pointed out some things and found it kind of interesting and just the culture of fishing in Russia, hunting in Russia, and just the different exhibits that we saw, all the different food choices as well. Uh, thanks. If you really like the video, you can happily put a thumbs up. Uh, I'm sure I'll get thumbs down still on this kind of video. There'll be some people that didn't find it exciting and interesting, that's okay. You know, uh, seeing all the guns is not something that I'm accustomed to myself, even coming from Australia. But I have to accept it's part of the sport of hunting and fishing. So, you know, they're going to be here, right? Uh, post a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to head off on another adventure now. I had a really nice time here, by the way. I've met lots of people, lots of subscribers too. So if you were here and you introduced yourself, thank you for saying hello shaking hands, talking about your uh, passion for fishing and hunting. And I'll see everybody in another video. Bye.